Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy, and I'm a little bit concerned about Ice Cream Sandwich. To be frank, we should be seeing a lot more Ice Cream Sandwich devices out there than we are. And there's also some other stuff that's playing into it that's got me, well, just a little bit concerned. Let's go find out why in this week's edition of the Android Guy Weekly. So let's jump into some history. Android was doing pretty good with smartphones, and they came up from version 1.5, 1.6, and we got all the way up to version 2. I lost track, but it was Gingerbread, and Gingerbread was doing good. In fact, Froyo and Gingerbread were pretty good operating systems for smartphones. Where Google got into some trouble was when they started doing, well, they didn't start doing tablets, but other people did and they were using these smartphone operating systems that just really couldn't handle it. They weren't designed for it and they, they didn't work all that well. Now, since then, time has progressed and there are actually some pretty decent Android tablets out there running either Froyo or Gingerbread rather than a tablet-centric operating system. Now, what do I mean by tablet-centric? Well, Google wanted some time so that they could recoup. They could just kind of go all the way back to, uh, to home base and figure out how they needed to make this work on tablets. And Honeycomb was what they came up with. Honeycomb, like we'd mentioned in previous episodes, is kind of the necessary evil. It had to be done to kind of push the platform forward. And there were a lot of changes, an awful lot of changes, some of them not that pleasant. Very similar to Windows Vista compared to Windows 7. Vista had to be done and it helped usher in Windows 7. Well, the same thing. Honeycomb had to be done to usher in Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, Ice Cream Sandwich is supposed to be the unifying operating system that brings together tablets and phones and, theoretically, TVs as well, though we haven't seen that yet. Google TV just got updated with Honeycomb rather than Ice Cream Sandwich, which is kind of odd and interesting, but it's probably more about timelines than anything else. So why am I concerned about Ice Cream Sandwich? I love it. I've got it on my Motorola Zoom. It works so much nicer than, well, Honeycomb did on it. And let's face it, that was the Honeycomb launch device. Of all the tablets out there, the Zoom should be the one that runs Honeycomb the best. And it's not that bad. I really can't say that with a straight face because, okay, it was bad. For a tablet, I liked it. But compared to what Ice Cream Sandwich is on the same device, wow, night and day. Well, I've also got a Galaxy Nexus. And the Galaxy Nexus was the launch device for Ice Cream Sandwich, and it runs it great. It runs it just fine. I love it. In fact, it's hard for me to go back to, say, my Galaxy Tab 7.7 that's running Honeycomb just because it's such a step back. Running some of the other phones that I have in my house, Gingerbread just seems so old. It seems so kludgy compared to Ice Cream Sandwich. Well, and a lot of the major manufacturers out there said, not a problem, we're going to update our most recent phones to run Ice Cream Sandwich. We've seen some release dates since. But other than a few tablets, maybe one or two smartphones, we really haven't seen much happening as far as updating those phones to run Ice Cream Sandwich. That may or may not be too concerning. I thought we'd see a more rapid adoption than what we've seen, but what's starting to concern me is we're seeing brand new phones, like the Motorola Droid 4 that we just reviewed. It's a great phone. It's got a slide-out keyboard, which, well, that's, I hold that near and dear to my heart, because I started out with a, a G1, and I went on to a G2, and I, I just kind of like devices that have physical keyboards, even though that Galaxy Nexus I do just fine with, and I kind of like having the smaller phone, but I really like phones with keyboards on them. Well, great, except this is their brand new flagship device, and it doesn't have Ice Cream Sandwich on it, which was released back in November. I mean, we're talking, what, three months now? That's an awful long time, and we still don't have that. A lot of the other devices, smartphones especially, are coming out with gingerbread, not ice cream sandwich. More of the tablets, the tablets are coming along with ice cream sandwich, not quite as rapidly as I would have expected there either. 
which kind of makes me think, you know, what's wrong with ice cream sandwich? Is it really that much bigger? Is it that much more difficult to develop for? What's wrong with it? Is there something wrong with it? That led me to something relatively concerning. Galaxy Nexus again. It's the flagship device. You remember back when we announced the, uh, the Nexus One, way back when? Almost immediately after we released that video on you know, the unboxing of that phone and we were showing how awesome it was back then, we showed off the accessories. The desktop dock with its pogo pins, the car dock with its pogo pins. Oh man, this was great. It was kind of frustrating because the accessories took a month or so to come out after the phone came out, but that was it. Now we're on another flagship device the Galaxy Nexus, and where are the accessories? Well, we've got an announcement, or we had an announcement just recently that, hey, they're starting to roll out. Starting to roll out three months after the release of the flagship device? Whoa, what's going on here? In fact, I've had on order two car docks from the first day that they showed up over at Expanses. That's been a long time that I've had that order open, and they're still not here. In fact, they were supposed to be released. The, the most recent update said February 15th, you betcha. So I showed up, you know, February 14th, not a problem. The date was still the same. The next day, February 15th, I went, and what on earth? Now they're delayed till February 28th? Why is this? Well, Expansis, allegedly, We'll throw that word around a lot. Talk to their supplier who allegedly reported that Samsung is having a problem with them, or more specifically, Samsung's having a problem with some of the stuff Google did in Ice Cream Sandwich, and the docks aren't working right. Does that mean if you're going to run this dock, you've got to have a software update to your phone? Maybe like a, a 4.0 point, what are we up to now? Five? Yeah, is something wrong? with ice cream sandwich. Is that why developers, you know, the, the big developers, Samsung, HTC, all those folks, is that why they're not adopting ice cream sandwich in their new phones? I hope not. I really hope not. Or is it just because it takes six to eight months to get a device from specification to release to qualify it for, well, the major carriers for one, but also for general release so they don't tarnish the name brand of HTC or of Samsung or some of the others. Is that it? Does it really take that long? Did it take that long with gingerbread and with Froyo? Or is this something where it's taking longer with ice cream sandwich? And if it is taking longer with ice cream sandwich, is the next version going to be faster? To market because they've already overcome the hurdles that were introduced with honeycomb and ice cream sandwich. I hope so. And then we've got Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean, which we kind of expected would be a little bit further out than, well, June or July of this year. We're going from a, a release date. Sure, the release date was November. But now we're fast forwarding to now and it's just February, granted near the end. And we've got Jelly Bean coming out in just a couple more months. Okay, first of all, I hope this Jelly Bean announcement in a couple months means that we're probably maybe going to get a launch device then and it'll be another couple months before we see any actual real devices, kind of like last time. And if so, that's probably okay. Or is Jelly Bean Google going back to the drawing board and kind of in panic mode coming out with a fixed operating system that has all these problems taken care of and then we'll be able to see more rapid development and more rapid releases of the Android operating system for our tablets, our phones, and maybe even our TVs. I don't know, but putting all the pictures together, all the pieces together, the picture that I'm seeing is I think there might be something wrong with Ice Cream Sandwich. That's what it looks like from my perspective, but now I'm interested in your perspective. What do you think? 
Do you think this is something that's just growing pains, getting from a less mature gingerbread and into a more mature honeycomb ice cream sandwich, and that's why it's taking so long? Or is it really that it just takes six to eight months to get a device from spec to market, and we're just right now getting rid of all of the other you know, gingerbread and, and before phones that, that were already kind of in the queue waiting for release? Or is it something else? Let us know in the comments down below. Share your thoughts and in the past videos we've done. Oh my goodness, guys, you're just freaking amazing at all the comments and the perspectives that you're bringing to this. In fact, some of the comments that you've mentioned before, especially in the honeycomb, the necessary evil, uh, <laughs> the video that we did way back then, a lot of that was kind of formative for this video and kind of got the juices flowing. So everyone who participated in that conversation, thank you so much. It's just amazing what can happen when a whole bunch of diverse people like you and I get together and, and think freely and put all of our thoughts into this and, and just come up with ideas and maybe even some conspiracy theories. They're always fun, right? That may or may not turn out to be true. In this one, I hope it's not true, and I hope it's just, you know, Google hurrying and pushing out a new version of the operating system, and maybe the whole accessory thing for the Galaxy Nexus was all kind of blown out of proportion. We can hope. But keep the conversation going. Use the comments down below, and of course, big thumbs up if you like this video and the topics that we're talking about. For Pocket Now, pushing the envelope with some of the stuff that we're thinking about, I'm Joe the Android Guy.